Hello and welcome to this lab. I'll be demonstrating uh, how to configure a single area OSPF network and I have built a lab in the packet tracer with a couple of routers, switches and computers. At this time you can uh, take a moment to make a note of the IP addressing scheme that I'll be using for this lab and that you can see right here. Um, the IP addressing for all the interfaces on the router and the two PCs. Then I, I have a few commands here that I'll be using to configure OSPF on router 0, that's uh, the router in the left, and router 1, and that's my router on the right of the lab lab. So the first thing I'll do uh, is go to router 0 and configure the IP addresses that I have here. So I want to go ahead and uh, label this uh, router with the proper name, which is uh, router0. So according to my IP addressing, um, router 0 gigabit 00, 00 interface will be given an IP address of one of 10.10.10 .10 that will be in a slash 30 network and the subnet mask for a slash 30 is 255.255. .255. And the next thing is to issue the no shut command to bring the interfaces up. So now I can see that my interface is up, but if I go back to my lab, the interface will still be red, and that is because uh, it cannot it um, it cannot communicate with uh, the other side of the line, which is on router one. So I'll go ahead and configure router one with its IP address and bring that interface up. So I'll give this an IP address of 10, 10, 10, 2, and uh, it must be in the same subnet mass as its uh, neighbor or the same network as its neighbor. So I see the no, no shut command. If I uh, minimize this here now, I can see that my interfaces uh, will be up. So here I can go ahead and uh, from uh, router uh, one, I can uh, ping. I'll issue a ping to router zero interface gigabit zero zero, which is 10.10.10.1, and I need to put ping. And I'm missing the uh, the first uh, ping because of uh, the process of ARP. And um, here I can see that I can communicate successfully between uh, these two routers. The next step in this lab is to configure the gigabit 01 interface on both routers. So according to the IP addressing scheme here, uh, gigabit 01 interfa uh, interface on router uh, uh, 0 on the left will be given the IP address uh, of 1.168.10.1. So let me go ahead and uh, configure it. Same I'll go ahead and do with uh, the other router. And this IP address will be 1.216.20.1 with a subnet mass of a slash 24. Okay, so if I um, show uh, my interfaces, show the configuration. Uh, show IP interface brief 
I can see that I have uh, my gigabit 00, 0 interfaces up and my gigabit 0, 01 interfaces up and that's my IP address there. I'm going to go ahead and look at the uh, interface to see if it's been configured and if it's up. And here I have gigabit 00, 0 uh, with the correct IP address now and gigabit 0, 01 with 192.168.10.1 address. So the next thing is uh, I'll have to configure uh, the IP addressing. So before I configure the OSPF routing protocols on these two routers, uh, I, I want to go ahead and uh, configure the IP address on the two PCs and uh, just show you that, it, that, the, that the computers will not be able to communicate with each, with, with each other on, on, uh, until um, I configure the OSPF. So I'll go ahead here uh, on the uh, computers and set up the IP addressing. And the default gateway for PC1 will be 192.168.10.1, which is the IP address of router 0 interface gigabit 0 1 IP address, which is 182.168.10.1. Now I can go to PC2 and I'll make the same configuration. And now this will be using its default gateway as the interface gigabit 0, 01 on router 1. And that's 192.168.20.1. Now this PC should be able to communicate with its with the router interface. And I'll do a simple thing. And I'm getting a reply, so this computer can successfully ping its gateway. But can I ping the IP address of PC1 from PC2? So it says here the destination host is unreachable and uh, it's getting a reply uh, from the from the router. So the router is uh, sending a reply to say that this destination is not reachable. And uh, that is expected because if I issue the command show IP route, I can see that this, uh, this router only knows about the 10.10.10.0 network and it knows also about the 192.168.20.0 network, but it does not have any entry for the 192.168.20.0 network. If I go to the other router, that will also be the case. So show IP route on the uh, router zero. I can see that uh, these, uh, this router only know about the 10.10.10 network and the 192.168.10.0 network, but it does not know about the 192.168.20 network. So in order to fix this, we'll have to go ahead and enable uh, OSPF routing protocol or uh, issue static routes. But we want to go ahead and uh, configure the OSPF so the routers will automatically learn about these networks.